Hello. Let's talk about makeup. <laughs> um, I wanted to film my everyday skincare and makeup, and my skincare is terrible, by the way. But I just wanted to film my everyday makeup right now because um, I have a meeting really soon, and so I wanted to put a little something on, so I thought it was a good time to film this. Um, my everyday makeup is very Glossier-inspired. Um, if not, you know, I own some Glossier products already, and my skincare is inspired by me not wanting to spend a lot of money. <laughs> uh, but I think the time is coming to get some better skincare. Um, mainly right now, that's the dog, I'm dog sitting. Mainly right now, um, my lotion situation isn't going too well. I was kind of trying something new and it's not working. So what I normally use, I have very dry skin, what I normally use for facial lotion is the Fresh Made Coconut Mask. And I know it's a mask, but like I use it like lotion. It's really good and it's only $11 on Amazon or Ulta. Um, but I ran out and I was like, oh, let me try something new. So what I am using, it's a vibrating sound. What I am using is a few things. Um, here's, here's the good thing that I would recommend. I use the, you've probably seen this, it's a watermelon glow sleeping mask by Glow Recipe. It smells amazing. This is the sample size. Um, I had a gift card and I got it and I think I will be repurchasing the full size, but this one was only $25. So I'll just take kind of a small amount on my hand or my finger and I tend to use my hands. I'm actually pretty good at makeup, um, but I really like the look of Glossier and maybe definitely in the future I'll do like a, a look. Um, with like an eye look. I love doing eyeshadows, but I really prefer this minimal foundation look. I think I've always preferred really light foundation because it makes me feel like suffocated when stuff is on my face. Like I just feel like I'm getting pimples. <laughs> um, okay. So that's the glow recipe. It smells really good. And then it kind of tightens, um, and it's not enough moisture. So what I'm using is this aloe vera gel that's made for your face, and this is the thing that's just, it's not hitting the spot. Um, actually, I'm gonna use something else. I'm going to use my, um, the sample from Glossier, it's a priming moisturizer, and the last time I used it, it was pretty good, but I don't know if I wanna buy that. Well, the thing I have, the thing I used is $11, and like, you know, if $11 works for you, like, come on, you know? Um, okay, and then usually I I have time right now, so I'm gonna let this dry before I put my foundation on. And I washed my hands before this. Um, I'm very like anal about not letting, not putting unnecessary amounts of bacteria onto my face. Actually, I would say I'm kind of a germaphobe, but um, yeah, my hands are pretty clean. And then I'm just gonna wipe this on my legs. Okay, so just fan myself. Oh, <laughs> more Glossier merch. Um, I recently got into Glossier. I bought the boy brow and um, the foundation about like maybe in April or May, and I ended up loving the foundation and the boy brow. Um, this is the foundation. It's very sheer. Um, and I remember someone mentioned it in a video and they were kind of talking about it negatively. I think not a lot of people like this foundation. They were kind of talking about it negatively and I like looked on YouTube for a positive review of this foundation because I was determined to like it because it just sounded so perfect for me and it is perfect. Um, I, I love it and I use the concealer as well but for a month there I didn't have the concealer and you can kind of layer this up like under your eyes and stuff I don't know you make it work it's not gonna hide everything but I think it does a damn good job um, and I don't have like perfect skin either but I gotta get my shit together when it comes to like moisturizer and cleanser because I'm really not like doing anything special right now um, so I kind of put this on like as if it's a moisturizer because I like it to um, like 
it evens out your skin. So I just kind of try to like, I don't put it in one spot more than others is what I'm saying. I think an even coat is like the best um, look. And I like putting it on my eyelids because um, sometimes my eyelids are just darker because of like, um, like sleeping weird or mascara or whatever. Um, so I feel like it, it makes your eyes look fresher. I'll put on a little concealer, but I'm not feeling like too fancy today. This is the Glossier Concealer, shade G10, which is probably at this point getting a little light for me because it's summer and I'm getting tan. Um, I normally, I go to school in Boston, so I get really white in the winter. And then I live in California, so I get really tan in the summer. Um, that's, I feel like that's another really good thing about this foundation is it will fit you through a wider range of skin tones because, you know, your skin peeks out from underneath. Also, I'm not using a mirror, I'm just using the camera, so. <laughs> but it's very forgiving, um, the foundation. And I've mentioned that I'm dry. I love a dewy skin look. Um, and like this foundation is perfect for that. I just like, I feel like my skin was kind of made for this brand. Not like other people's skin was too, but like I fit into that category. Ooh. Okay. So the, here's the three glossy products I own, the concealer, the foundation and the boy brow. And then the other stuff, I just use things that are kind of like, in the same vein of product type, like cream product type stuff, I'll show you. I'll do the boy brow after, but I use the Benefit What's Up highlighter, and this was one of the first things I ever owned makeup wise, um, and I love it, it's really good, um, and I just don't see the need to get the Glossier one because this is so perfect. Um, and also, like I mentioned that I, like makeup a lot um I had the um I had like the BoxyCharm subscription for a while and I have a lot of makeup so <laughs> even though this is one of the first things that I owned um I own a ton of highlighters um and so I didn't that's why this hasn't been used up I've probably had it for years um but um yeah, I just didn't use it for a while. I use a lot of powder highlight, but I think this is like really the dewy look. I really like it. And you can put powder highlighter over this if you want. The, another reason I have this very small makeup collection is because I am going, I'm traveling a lot. I'm in different places a lot. So everything just fits into the, the bag that comes when you get the Glossier order. Everything fits into here. Um, and I like it that way. I don't know. It works for me. And then during the year when I'm at school, I'll have like all my makeup in a drawer accessible. Okay, let me get this finished. So, um, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I also have, this is like a hand-me-down and it's starting to separate, um, but it's like a liquid eyeshadow that's also similar to the Glossier eyeshadows. It's from Chanel, but I didn't buy it. Also, they don't sell it anymore. Sorry, I know, it's tragic. So sometimes I put that on my eyes and it's just kind of like a sparkly, bronzy color, which looks good on my skin. Um, I'll do the boy brown now. Um, I'm gonna try using up the one I'm running out of. So if you're like using this as a gauge for how good boy brow is, this one is kind of dry. Also, I'm not even using a mirror. <laughs> um, I really like boy brow. The only thing is the price, I would say. Um, like this thing, I think is $18, which, um, you know, you just have to, you gotta want it. You know, there are other brands that do similar things. Like I think ColourPop has one. I really like ColourPop as a brand, but I decided to try this and I love it. I would, I did buy it again. I would buy it again. Um, it's my new one. <laughs> I love the packaging that Glossy has as well. But I was expecting it to be bigger when I first bought it. Okay, so then I have a spoolie from a sample mascara, and it's actually the mascara I'll be using later. But I just find that this spoolie is like really good at f like making things look fluffy and feathery and whatever. Um, 
and I feel like my brows would definitely be better if I did them in a mirror. I also have this Morphe brow pencil, um, and I love it. It has a very fine tip, which is one of the things I love, but I'm not going to use it. I just use it if I want my brows to be like, you know, like snatched. Okay, then I have um, Baby Lips by Maybelline, which just was like in my drawer for years. And then when I started doing Glossier makeup, I found that this is like, it does like a really good shiny lip. Yeah, you can tell it's almost like lip gloss, but the, the feeling is like silky smooth, not like sticky. So I really like that. But I am looking for um, a really like orangey coral um, blush lipstick color. I meant like blush and lipstick. You know like how you have those um, like cream products where you can put them on your lips and you can put them on your cheeks. I think I'm gonna go with the ColourPop Poppy. It's like a kit, so there's two colors. One is more orange and one is more like peach, I would say, and then a highlighter as well. Um, or maybe I'll just get the two individual blush slash lipstick thingies. Um, I'll keep you updated, but yeah, I just, I don't do blush and I feel like I need a little color and I feel like orange would look really cute. Um, yeah. Okay. Last thing is mascara and this, okay. This mascara, I'm kind of low energy right now, but this mascara, I swear to God, I, I've gotten so many compliments with this. Um, I got it originally, this little sample size, in the Allure Beauty Box, which I, I canceled, I've tried a lot of them, but um, I got some really good stuff in there. I also got a full size um, Sunday Riley CEO, which I also loved, in that box for only $15. The box was $15. So, okay, sorry, the mascara is the Dior Show Mascara. And okay, so yes, I own a Dior product, but first of all, I got this with a gift card, and second of all, this is a $29 mascara. And if you buy like Benefit or like Better Than Sex or whatever, those are gonna be like $25 to $30 anyway. So I wouldn't say that this is priced very much higher than your average Sephora mascara. So if you're already going for one of those, I would go for this personally. Um, so I don't like chunky mascara at all. I like lengthening. I like a little bit of volume, but again, like the chunk, but okay. I gotta get close because I don't have a mirror. But I have never received so many compliments on my mascara. And I don't know what it is because I think it just has that little extra oomph to it. This is not easy. Um, but like literally the day I got it, my roommate, who's like very not into makeup, complimented me on it. <laughs> And um, I've gotten compliments from like my aunt and my boyfriend and my mom, like people who just see me all the time and I'm wearing mascara a lot of the time have complimented me specifically on this mascara. So I just wanna let you know. It's my favorite. This is so weird without a mirror. Oh, the other thing I like about putting my moisturizer and my foundation on my eyelid is if I mess up and get this on my eyelid, the fact that it's like kind of oiled up with that product makes it so easy to wipe off. Okay. And then I just do the corner. This is not easy. Have I said that enough? I hope that looks good. I try to, when I get my bottom lashes, I try to get like the tips of them. Cause it's longer, these are longer than you think they are. Anyway, okay, that's about it. I don't do eyeliner like ever and I need to start doing blush. But that's it, that is my everyday makeup look. I'm just looking down to see if I forgot anything. I also have this in my makeup kit. Um, it's the Jo Malone Amber and Lavender Cologne. And all of, I know it says cologne, but all of Jo Malone's products are like unisex. And this is like a very, I would say kind of masculine smelling. It's a very strong smell, but I'm like just so obsessed with it. This is like, 
I bought this for myself for Christmas. It is my favorite, I cherish it, and I love like how I've been using it since like December and it's still so full. So I love that scent. Go check it out at Nordstrom or wherever. And then I just wanted to do, go in the sun a little bit so you could see better. Um, yeah. That's it. That's what I do. Here's my products. It, that's very messy, but actually, like, can I flip the camera? No, I can't. Okay. Whatever. Thanks for watching.